So guys, in my last video, I was up 7% and I'm sure you can guess what happened. Down all the way back to 100k, had a 5k lost day, then 2k, back up 5k. I seem to be stuck in that steady boom and then bust cycle. It's happened quite a few times now. I've been trading pretty much 20 days straight, haven't even missed a day. So, you know, that mental fatigue builds up, that accumulation of emotion. I need to be more vigilant when it comes to after like a winning streak, not to get too overconfident and just give away my gains, which is what's happened the last few days. It's kind of embarrassing coming on YouTube, not even being able to stick to a simple plan. But that's just my reality at the moment. But I just got to keep trying and eventually I'll break free of that. So we've got one week left. And what can I say, guys? I'm just going to try my best and I'll see you guys on the other side. Win or lose. <laughs> So we're back, it's Monday, 7th of February um, I actually thought I had two days left in the challenge Which I did, but um, I totally forgot about the 14 day extension And um, the option just came up this morning And it was, um, I didn't receive an email or anything But you just click on the end date And then they extended it to the 22nd um, it's just been such a long challenge guys that as you can see it's just been up down up down up down it's been a struggle um, currently around 8% up um, took a couple small losses this morning um, I was trying to position myself in the SMP which I am in another trade now so let's just see how this trade goes um, I'm not going to scale out of it See if we get that squeeze back up before the US session. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So the trade is just teasing us right now. $300 away from the target. Three points away. So we finally passed. This challenge has probably been my toughest one. If I look back to the last seven challenges I had done, um, I haven't actually 
blown one in a long time. I've passed four of them and got three repeats. So I've been here before guys and don't get me wrong, it's always a great feeling when you pass a challenge but to be real, um, I can't really say I feel proud of myself. Reason being, when I made my first video about blowing my funded account, I set out to share my journey, provide value, provide good insight. I wanted to find a way to hold myself accountable, just step outside my comfort zone and just really force myself to become disciplined, stick to the plan and just really do the work required to be consistent. And I say force myself because it really was that. I think there's a lot of mental resistance and limiting beliefs instilled in me when it comes to trading. So there's a lot of work to be done, um, but I'm going to take a little break from trading. I really need to reframe my mindset when it comes to the goal of being funded. I think expectations have really got in my way. I also need to figure out how I can make my approach to trading more mechanical. I have an edge, um, I have a good feel for the markets, but I rely a lot on discretion. It obviously works, but my main problem is accepting losses and not spiraling out of control. I need to find a way to preserve my edge from revenge trading and bad psychology. There's a lot of work to do. I'm probably not going to do a whole verification series, but I will be posting live trading videos on that. I'm going to try to give you guys live trade breakdowns and the thought process behind getting in those entries. But I'm going to take a week or two off. I'm also going to use that time to plan more content for you guys. So let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. I also want to thank all of you that's been following this journey, the support, the encouragement, the advice. It's really kept me going and it's meant a lot. Hopefully we get to do a funded series soon. So look out for that and yeah guys i'm just wishing you all the best on your trading journeys and i'll catch up with you soon